Today, I want to give you a very quick uh, video on how you actually make money with e-commerce because e-commerce, a lot of times, uh, it's a little bit overrated on how much money you can make with that. Uh, you can make quite a substantial uh, sum of, of revenue with that, but it's revenue, right? So the profits is always a very different situation because the profits in an e-commerce business, you always have to take those profits and save up a lot of those profits because you need to buy new inventory because you have that as a component. This is not a digital business. This is not an e-book, right? So you actually need to deal with production time and shipping time. So you need to invest a lot more money in the beginning than you make the revenues two months later to 12 months later. That's then the, the time frame where you actually bring that money back in. And that is if you don't grow and then you make a profit and that's all cool. But if you want to grow in e-commerce, there's not a lot of money that you can take out of that. Once you get to a level where you know you do six figures, maybe you know, 200,000, 300,000 a month, you can take some money out, you know, slow down your growth, you can take some money out, that's okay. Um, but this is not really, like you cannot live of an e-commerce business. I know people that make a million dollars a year in e-commerce business cannot live on it because they're still growing, right? And this is, this is the thing. So today I wanna to show you how you can actually earn money from your e-commerce business. Because if you, act, if you already have an e-commerce business, you know the investment that it took, you know how much money it, it eats every month in inventory, you know what happens, uh, how much you need to hold back for, for issues that you might have with your supply chain, or if your shipment doesn't arrive, or uh, shit happens, right? So the way that we actually make money on e-commerce businesses is selling them. Very, very brief, very quick, that's how we do it. We sell them. Because the valuations on e-commerce businesses are crazy and it's the valuation on e-commerce businesses actually are growing, okay? Because of COVID, because e-commerce businesses are becoming more valuable to investors, this is what we do. So you can have a 35X on your monthly profits. So whatever monthly profit in your e-commerce business you do, if you put it up for sale, you'll get 35 times that. Right? That is basically the equivalent of not growing your business anymore and keeping it for three years and saving up all the profits. That's the equivalent to 35x, would be 36, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's a 35x. And that's eventually you can do that. But how do you get to that point? How do you say, okay, I want to have, you know, sell my business for a million dollar. Well, you probably need to do a hundred thousand dollar a month, you know, to in order in order to make that happen. And in revenue. So how do you get there? And we have an easy way to get there. We m prove a point. So we buy products for, we buy very, very low volume. We put very little money in. We prove a point. We put an ad up, we put a shop up, and we put a product in that store. And we see how that works out. Can we break even? Oh, we can break even, that's cool. Now let's go further. But we don't calculate all those numbers when we're not getting hung up on Oh, but right now I need to make a profit. We're not getting, getting hung up on how much does it cost to buy the 100 units, how much do we need to spend in ads, and how much profit do we make from that. It doesn't even matter. The initial, initially, it's just about proving the point. So even though you're making less money, even though you, you might even lose money, but if you know, okay, in the future I can buy that product for, for less money, in the future I can leverage that by having more, having more, more volume on it, I will be profitable in the future. If you have that on paper, and actually putting ad money out there, bringing revenue through your store and you see the numbers and you just make a calculation, okay, if my product costs get to this point and if I can hold my ad costs, then I will make a profit. That At that point, if you have that, congratulations, you can get investment capital. So here's what you do. You prove the point, then you go out and get investment capital because now you have a proven point. With that capital, you use it for growth. We use the capital for growing the business, for growing sales, for investing into inventory, for investing into advertisement, for investing into influencers, for investing. We grow the business and then after 12 months, the business should be, at, that should be, that's it. After 12 months, we keep it stable for six months and then we sell it. So after 18 months, we're like, okay, now let's sell it. And that's then whatever valuation that is, whether that's a million. We actually put one, we have, we have two businesses that we're putting up right now for sale. One has a 1.5 uh, valuation, one has a 5 million valuation. That's what we, the, the business that we're right putting up. We haven't done any money with that. We haven't made any money. Like we, we were able to pay the team, but you don't see fancy watches. That's for a reason, because there's no money in e-commerce. There's a big valuation. But the, the way to make money on e-commerce is, if you don't want to stress yourself out, take a little bit of money. 
prove a point, prove your numbers, get investment capital to grow. Don't grow on your own expenses and be like, have all these cash flow issues all the time that you need to overcome and you know keep your inventory as small as possible and how much like don't do that like take on some some money you need to have guts for that you need to have confidence that's that's the problem <laughs> but once you have that you put that on you make it work after 12 months you stop growing you maintain that for six months and you sell it's very simple start and test with very little budget prove a point once you have that done you get investment capital you grow and then you sell. And at the proving point, proving, proving the point point, a lot of people make the mistakes and uh, say, okay, but mm, right now I'm not profitable. I don't want to invest into a sourcing agent or it doesn't matter. What matters in the end is that you have a sustainable supply chain. What matters is that you have a proven way to bring people in the door. And what matters is your bottom line. How many profits do you have in the end of the day in your accounts on paper? Not cash profits. What's the paper profit? And then you multiply that by 35, you get a payout. Let's say you do a million dollar, right? The million dollar, you go to the bank and you say, hey, bank, here's a million. Give me two more. You leverage that. You get a loan. Now you have three million. You put three million into something that is actually a passive income, like real estate or something that is, has a very low return, but is very secure, right? Don't go in the stock market, right? So you just do that. That Let's say you have a 7% annual return, right? On $3 million, that's $210,000 a year. For the rest of your life. How cool is that? And you did that without putting all your money in it and doing this. You proved the point. And if you stop thinking short term, how much money I'm going to make the next three months with, with my little investment and I buy as few units as I can. And like, if you stop looking at that point you actually look up further 18 months down the road of, of the valuation when you sell the business and creating financial freedom for yourself for the rest of your life look then you can make sense of all the costs you can make sense of coaching to improve that you can make sense of of buying the courses to learn a couple more things to improve your to improve your business you can make sense of having services that take care of your supply chain you can make sense of all of that stop being cheap Look up, think about the big picture. That's what you need to do. So I hope that was felt helpful and uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Cheers.